guys so once again welcome to kamayo ako what i will show you today is the simple method regarding the process of adjusting our inventory through a transaction regarding stock in stock out and we can also override the quantity okay first we will make a table and next we will create a form okay let's start i will right click then i will select this ms access database i will rename to inventory then i will open we will create a table table design then here i will type item id with the number then primary key will save then i will rename our table inventory then we will add another field to the description then in stack then I will put here the data type number so automatically it will choose the default value 0 so I will change the caption here in stock and also here I will need so we will save again this is our fields I will just only put three fields then you can add whatever your requirement okay now this is our table then next we'll create form so i just select this one go to create then click this form so automatically it will generate whatever our field then I will save I will rename only transaction form okay now I will adjust here so as you can see our record source is inventory okay i will remove the layout then so this is our the stack i will put here and this is the description so this in stack this one i will rename this one as here text box I will rename to txt quantity on hand so q o h so this is our insta I will save then here I will make this one control source as unbound then I will change this text box to change to combo box so that whatever I choose it will automatically update here okay so this is our combo box from text box will convert to combo box and the row source here this one item id and description i will close so it will open it shows only nothing why because we don't have entry yet so i will try here entry c water type water 
then milk then sugar so this is our items again we open if I select this one it's showing only the ID this one item ID if I change this one nothing will happen nothing will update so I will change here also column I will make it two then here ID I will make zero and uh, column number two I will make C1 so that if I select automatically it will choose whatever the description then you can hide also so for, by this time we will keep us this description so that this is our only our selection so again if I select this milk it will not update here and also here look so it will not update so we will put some code here after update I will copy this one item ID because we will use that one here after update I will type to cmd that search record then double quote double quote then I will use this act first then now I will use our field primary key item ID equal then double quote then we will concatenate with and we put function string then in z then screen that activate active control then zero then close parenthesis and the last to close this function is tr function i will add another close parenthesis then i will hit enter so this is our code look what will happen if i select this water automatically it will update water milk automatically it will update milk and also sugar it automatically it will update sugar and again water again i will show you the code this is our code in order to update the corresponding fields whatever i said okay next is we need to add another text box i will just copy then this is unbound I will change this text box to txt quantity so this one let's see I will select this milk then we'll type the quantity whatever entries we put here automatically it will add or whatever we enter here automatically will deduct also okay this quantities I will modify the caption or the name quantities that's what I just modify the background that's the to show that this is our entry and this one we can enable then here lock yes in order to show also but we cannot enter this because this is lock. now we will add three buttons in order to manage for our 
receive, issue, or override our Insta. What it? Okay. I will go to design. Then I will add here three buttons. Just copy. We can also change this one to shape, let's see, this one, or we can also change to this one. So this is receive. Here. CMD stuck in and this one issue we change the button name is CMD st stuck out and this one I will put override then cmd over right again if we will click this one whatever quantity we enter here automatically it will add in our in stock or the txt quantity on hand so if we will click this issue whatever we issue automatically it will deduct also are in stock quantity and this override meaning let's say we have 50 did some physical count instead of deduct automatically whatever we enter let's say 30 automatically also here will replace the whatever the quantity you enter here okay then we start here in receive button one click event here me if we type me then that whatever our text box here txt so quantity on hand this is our text box for failed in stock so our in stock quantity equal next is me that so since this is stuck in so we will type again txt quantity on hand plus then we will type here ng then me dot txt quantity so this is txt quantity where our quantity to add we will put here then i will hit tab then close parenthesis so we'll try it. I will choose water then I will add 10 receive so automatically it will choose receive so we need to clear that one after Then we that equal zero. So I will select milk. Look, when I choose milk automatically, it will choose zero. Then I will type 15. Receive. So now 15. Now it's blank. Again, if I add sugar, it shows again zero when I type 20 receive so 20 look if I select water 10 in stock then milk 15 and sugar 20 okay next is 
issue. So whatever quantity we have, then we will issue. Automatically, it will deduct whatever our in-stock quantity. Okay? It's the same here. One click event, then here we just only copy. Then we only change instead of plus, we we'll only change to minus. So whatever our entries here, automatically it will deduct our quantity on hand okay look let's say again order i will deduct five then issue automatically five milk i will deduct five again issue five then sugar i will deduct again five so now we have water five milk and sugar 15 then the last is override I will click override I will type me the txt quantity equal in Z then me that txt quantity this one so automatically whatever the quantity on hand will replace whatever quantity we enter okay i will show you look water i will add 15 then milk i will add 25 then sugar i will add 15 so let's say if I select water 20 but the physical count is 5 so instead by typing 15 here in order to let's say actual inventory is 5 so we'll use issue of course by 15 but the problem is what if if you did not issue you just only correct the quantity in stock so by this override automatically it will replace this one let's see the actual quantity is fine then i will click this override automatically it will change whatever the entry here again okay, i will copy this one override i need to clear also Okay, I will show you the transaction water I will receive another 5 milk I will add 15 then I will issue sugar let's say 10 so 20 but the, now again I will check the actual inventory of water so milk 50 the actual inventory is 35 so i will override that one instead of receive or issue i just put 25 all right so this is it this is how to adjust using this very easy way of transaction thank you and god bless